All right. Um, here are the changes I've made to PowerShell and Power Thicken. So let's go like three millimeters, three percent, three percent. You'll see in a second what's going to happen. All right, now, what we've done is we have suppressed the power shell, and that's the dynamic object. And he, what we've done is we've created a power shell static one and what that is, is that's an imported feature, so that won't change. So, for example, I can go back here and edit this guy. <coughs> and you can see the PowerShell did not try to update itself. Um, the only way to get the PowerShell to update itself is to go in and actually edit the PowerShell and then say, OK, we're done. And then the PowerShell will go ahead and update itself. And once it's done updating itself, it will resuppress itself. And there it goes. You can see it's suppressed again. Now, if I say File save as shell test and file close file open up that shell test you can see that it opens directly up just as quickly as it normally would for any SolidWorks entity it doesn't have to regenerate that PowerShell so the only way to get the PowerShell to regenerate is to actually go in and edit it. And uh, oh, let's change three millimeters to like six millimeters or something so we can see it update. Now, if you happen to have multiple solids produced by the shell, it'll produce multiple static objects down here and they both will be subtracted from the combined. So it, it should work very nicely. As you can see, there we go again. Um, a little thicker offset. So this should help a lot with our PowerShell customers um, that uh, don't like the fact that it just takes so long to work with that shell. So this is a huge improvement for version 7.0, and I'm actually demonstrating it on uh, SOLIDWORKS 2022.